Nigga, the dream is real. Get up, get up, get up. It's about to go down. News flash. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Yeah. Slapping on your pimping. Uh. Turn it up. You know, if you're going to shoot, you better shoot straight because a wounded animal is the worst thing you can deal with. Facts. Welcome to the Baller Alert Show. Featuring your lifestyle specialist, Kenny Burns. With Sue Solo and Ferrari Simmons. The, the, the dream is real. Yeah, 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 yeah. How y'all doing? We do on good. It's your lifestyle specialist, Kenny Burns. Kid Ferrari Simmons. Your favorite Ethiopian Sue Solo. <laughs> I'm Man, what, up. What, 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 what's Why'd up with the stop? volume? What, what's going on? Why'd you, you stop? A, I don't know what's going on. A lot of on. screaming this weekend? No. A lot of lady, it, lady, lady? Did I throw you off? I know my voice is fucked no, up. No, no. It just, I don't know. I don't know. Okay. I need some tea. Let's try that again. <laughs> Start all over. The, the, the dream is it's real. real. It's your lifestyle specialist, Kenny Burns. It's Kenny Ferrari Simmons. Your favorite Ethiopian Sue Solo. Hello. Oh, hell no. <laughs> See, it's, it's... Come on. I don't know. Keep both of those, okay? <laughs> yeah. Keep both what happened? It's a, I mean, it's a long weekend? No, not Really? Really? I don't you had know. to talk. You had to do a lot of speaking in the game. Yeah, you had to talk a lot. I, I, has I did been talk known a lot. To cause throat yeah, irritation. Yeah, I didn't want to say it's hookah. Do you realize well, hookah's not good for you though? You know, I it's uh, totally not good for you. Um, Tanisha just told me that uh, I have to not smoke hookah for three months, and if I do, I have to pay her a thousand dollars. Yes, there it is each time. Yes. Oh yes, I like that. But hookah's very, very bad for your throat. Tanisha, I will snitch. Okay, and we just you know just throw me off. Sometimes, huh? Hookah's very bad for your throat. Yes, it is. Hookah's bad. Hookah's bad for you. Why does someone create a non-coal version? There is. Uh, is there a non-coal yeah, version? It's, yeah, this it's, doesn't it's give just you the a, same. It's America. It's America that that smokes all the tobacco. Over, no, over saying, overseas, I mean, it's it's no nicotine, it's no tobacco. Yeah, because you said it got real fruit in it. So. Yeah, but like I what I had in Monaco. The idea of this asphyxiation of the smoke is like why people do it. If you could figure out something that's not. Chemically induced, or which, chemically. which they have. I had it in Monaco. It, it cost. It was a hundred dollars uh-huh. ver- versus a forty dollar uh-huh. hookah, but they do have it. Yeah, I just want y'all to be healthy out here. In the Likewise, time, man. You know what I'm saying? Likewise. It's scary. This I can smoke weed though. Of course. What? Yeah. It's good that for does you. Not hurt you. No, that's good for you. So how was your weekend? Otherwise, beautiful <laughs> suit. It was good. Um. Yeah, you know I had my show on Southside Dash, so that was really good. I've been enjoying. Doing that How every Saturday. Club Talk, yes, you do owe me. Club Talk yeah. has been lit. Everybody has been trying to figure out who the people are in Club Talk. So if y'all don't know what you that do is, yeah. yeah. Club Club Talk if you don't know what Club Talk is, it's a segment where people get to write in anonymously and share like these crazy ass stories from the club. So far, we've had uh, two promoter guys that engage in sexual activity we wait, have wait, wait, wait. two guys yeah two Man. guys so now like the city is oh, like trying no. to figure it out I went out to the club and they were like Sue <laughs> who is it who are they and I do not know who these people are I don't ask questions they just send the letters and, an I, idea, and I share them saying, I think we all when we hear these stories that I think that's the beautiful thing about it people will respond and be like yo I thought some I thought something like this about someone and now this is making me believe it even more. Crazy. So it's insane. Um yeah, stories about people having sex in the bathroom. Oh wow. That's um amazing. Totally regular, but it's it's not very regular when the promoter covers the girl's face with her own jacket because he doesn't want to see her face. Huh? So yeah, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So if Let you got something some crazy, you can email, you can send it to reach at susolo dot com, and we'll share it on a solo way. But That's other than that, funny, stuff has been cool. Yeah, getting ready for brunch at at. You know this all new place in Atlanta. Yeah, oh, so it's brand- traffic. Yeah, oh yeah. I thought that was this weekend. Pretty soon. No, for no. You. We wanted to wait for them to iron out some kinks. Um, but okay. it the, so food, the food must be good enough for you what? to bring brunch there. What? No, she don't play. The food is amazing. Five star chefs up in that joint. And yes, and we're gonna go crazy with the presentations, like the food presentation, the bottles, the cocktails, like. It's, a thing. it's gonna be a real experience, yeah, and, and that, that's what I love about food. it. hundred percent. So if you say it's a go, it's a go. It's a go. It's a go. You you should know a little something about that. Yeah, yeah, it's all good. We're gonna you know. Yeah, you know, look, you know a little something about that. What's so up, something Rari? Oh no, everything was cool. Uh, oh no, same old same cool. out here in these streets doing what I do. Stone you know Mountain, that. getting it in. Oh yeah, Stone Mountains on Wednesdays and Fridays. If you try and get fit, you know what I'm saying. We hike and run that thing. Me and some uh, apes, Congo, fast <laughs> pace Eddie, uh, my boy T. Apes. <laughs> nah, we, yeah, yeah. I, I gotta, Y'all do push ups at the. Yeah, we do a hundred piece the at the halfway uh, part at the, at the on the benches, and then we go. We run up the the second part. I gotta come do that. 
this Wednesday, 945. I think you, you show them out because you run consistently. No, no, I just want to try because he keeps telling me to come and I you have should. not come. How far is Stone? Okay, I'll figure it's it out. It's 0.9 miles. The, oh, that's the so much you start to the top. Oh, so it's not even a mile? Mm-mm, Almost. 9. Oh. But if you do that steep part oh, incline, Maybe man. three times yeah, incline. So we do the right. rails we, we run up and down the rails twice Okay mm-hmm. Yeah Gotta try that I'm gonna try that Alright that's it That's all your weekend you Yeah no that's every week I'm stop consistent dumb, man You gotta stop dumbing down Club stuff bro And what you do Oh yeah, this is yeah. A, yeah I mean cool. you're in the club five you know, I don't like to brag man I just It's like, not about it's bragging It's about what you do It's branding yeah. Not bragging Okay, right, oh, great. Yeah, well, I had a great exactly. uh, weekend. I, I was out here in these streets. I want to shout out the gentleman at the Earn Your Leisure podcast. Y'all heard of that podcast? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's United, a dope podcast. Right? Please inform us. Yeah, it's a very dope podcast. I had a very great time. And, you know, for me, I think I'm much like Rari. Like, I can talk and tell stories. But when it comes to talking about myself, mm. I'm not really the guy to be like, yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's not my thing. But they really got me to open up. And it was a very good Interview. So big shout out to those dudes oh, over there. Super um, dope. What else I do this weekend? I had a big weekend. Oh, we had genuine at mm. the goddamn cassette. Now, if you haven't oh, come hey. to cassette, damn, I overslept. Yeah. I was tired. I'm just telling you, if you haven't oh, come to that was cassette, late. yeah, you should really just stab yourself. You should. But I'm coming to yours because it's your birthday party. No, no, my, yeah, this, next, this one. next one. Did y'all see me this party. weekend? I had a whole Negative. photo show. Go ahead, carry right. on about genuine. First. No, was, no, yeah. So finish my genuine. So genuine. I'm, I'm not gonna lie, genuine. Is one of the best performers in the RB game he got hits. of his era. He, and he got, real got hits. records, real hits, and he performed like eleven records. Like I mean, so, you be oh, forgetting wow. he got that many songs, like eleven mm-hmm. records. Like he shit, was going. I ain't forgot. And then he get, got down on the floor and did the whole thing. And the funniest shit of the whole night was that he got down and did some old body roll shit. And I'm, you know, I'm next to him. I'm used to groups on stage, but it's me and him. So he doing this shit. I'm, I'm not doing all this. So I, so I grabbed my leg and I went like this. And nigga, they when I tell you the whole crowd was laughing a lot because I, I, I'm a comedian. Okay, great. Yeah, but it was a fucking stone cold groove and he had a great time. And then also, y'all, so October 31st is the next cassette. And we are doing... A new Jack Swing vibe. Hey, put, so put, put his put his head on the screen. Yes, Paul, put that's his, me. Uh, he got a hot top fade. Yes. It actually looked the hair really good disappeared on you. from nowhere. Yeah, that was called a, a, a unit. I was dying laughing. Yeah. It's a lace front. Let me yeah, find out some of you dudes be out here in these streets be doing that before you come no, out. No, 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 but it's real. It's real. I it's a real say thing. that. I went. So Hannah hyped me up. She's like, Kenny, we gonna do the photo shoot because she got the ninety bins for like I had all the shit. And Hannah put all the shit together, and so I'm like, all right, cool, I'm gonna do it. She said, but you gotta get your hair done. And I'm like, what you mean get my hair? Done. She said, "Yeah, you know, Steve Harvey wore a whole wig for like the whole time he had the show." I'm like, "You yeah. lie!" I'm like, "They really put whole units on you?" It's, yeah, it's called a unit. So I was like, "All right, cool." So I said, <laughs> "Let me go," unit. because I was figuring <laughs> exactly what happened. What happened? Like, I would go do it, and everybody be like, "Yo, the nigga got hit with Steve Harvey." Steve never Harvey knew. had yeah, a whole for a long time for the whole show. What? Long so time. I did it, and it was well, it looked ball. real. When he was Mr. Hightower. When he was Mr. Hightower, he had a joy. So oh, I literally, yeah. I literally did the shoot, yeah. and everybody was coming past the shoot because I shot at Morris Brown, shot at all these places, yeah. and they were like, "Yo, your hair looks crazy." I was like, "It's not mine." It's not mine. <laughs> and this one dude came like, y'all got a song called Hot Top. I was like, yeah, this is oh. a wig top, though, nigga. Like, this is a cold lace front. <laughs> but it was a whole thing. And then the other piece, I went to True Food after, right? They thought I, it was I had real? to take it off. Oh. And mind you, if, if you get it glued down and get it done done, it lasts up to 30 days. You can wash it. You can do whatever you want to it. What did you oh, have? It? You have it than than I had to take it. You can wear it. You can wear it. Wear it. Yeah. Oh, hell no. Like but no, a lot of people out here doing that and they do it on their beard. What are you yeah. doing? Get that done, bro. Yeah. What? Crazy. Go ahead. So yeah. I went to True Food and I literally walked in and they were like, Oh my god Like Kenny You have hair I was like yeah The, the party's the 31st so Anyway It looked so good though It was a cold It was a cold I mean to do that And to experience it, it You know I hadn't had I hadn't. First of all I haven't had a fade <laughs> In 20 years yeah, I haven't had, had Barbara had to blend ever. it Yeah he had Like, like blend the blending it. All of that looked so good It looked like It grew out his head Yeah so big shout out mm-hmm. To 404 Antonio He did that And I will By the way Be doing it again in another version for the actual Halloween joint. So we going in. It's New Jack Swing. So you get your Pele Pele's, your eight ball jacks, mm. your uh, guests, your overalls, you Fubu. get your So yeah, wait, get, was that Beijing in uh Genuine's beard or nah? Nah. I told you it was real. That was his beard. I had to I compliment him on his beard. That I was like, yo, I thought I had the best beard in the game, but that's your shit. You got the So best. it's not a Beijing. Yes, nah, it's though. real. Really? Yeah. yeah. It's like a wavy curly hair. I forgot what's his um his nationality. Elgin is his name, yeah. Elgin. Mm. 
He's from Elgin. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, now it's time for In Case You Missed It. Just in case. Just in case you missed it. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, love and prayers go out to all of our people in Houston, Texas. I think I, I, this got overlooked somehow. A but flood, they, yeah. they got flooded crazy by Hell a tropical yeah. storm Imelda. So I want to send my love to everybody in Houston, Texas that was affected by the storm. Big shout out to um, DJ Mr. Rogers. Uh, I think he calls himself uh, Relief Game Rogers. Like he, oh, he wow. him and Trey, they being in the streets. I'm talking about helping people that yep. are affected by anything that happens mm-hmm. in their community. So I want to shout them out one time, and then one time also for Jarrell Jerome on winning yes. an Emmy for uh, for his acting in Central Park Five. And you know what? Us. Facts. I listened to the guy Corey, whose character he played. Uh, they want the breakfast Wise. club. Yeah, Corey yeah. Wise. Mm-hmm. He really like he has you know he's slow. Like he's not slow. He's he has he, all, he's, whatever he's, he has. He's not all the way together. But that's so crazy yeah. that he had to go through that. It makes it even. I mean, just reliving yeah, the awful. whole. They, that's me- crazy. they messed him up. That was a great interview. On the I would mess club. anybody. It was. Up. They messed him up. And it was so. I mean, it's so terrible. Like, even they got paid after, and I'm Corey got more than everybody. I mean, but it still don't get you. It still no, doesn't life give you the freedom. Give you life back. Yeah, you're, you're, not, you're not really free. He's still confined to the effects of what he went through. And, and that's when that so boy sad. received that award, if you saw Corey Wise's face, he just looked like. I'm talking about. I was about to cry. Yeah. I'm about to cry thinking, because it's just like he just looks so like. Overwhelmed, man. You know what I'm saying? So big shout to Jarrell Jerome. You did that, young blood. Your future is bright. And he's from the Bronx, by the way. Uh, Also, one time for Paul Nixon of Harris County, Texas, y'all. He is uh, wanted by authorities for divorcing his wife (laughs) without her knowing. Uh, Where in the hell is that legal or possible? How can you do that? He must have made her sign it in her sleep or some shit. I don't know what he did. Yeah, but that that, must have happened. For that's hilarious, though, if you think about it. (laughs) I'm done, bitch. Bye. Without her knowing, that's like getting fired on your day off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now he looked. I mean, I don't understand why the police looking for. He got a divorce. What I mean, did he leave with some money? We need more. more that's information. the best day too. Get fired, girl. Yeah. Speaking of firing, y'all. Aaron you Carter. Your time going up there. Oh, y'all hey, this right here. This look. Have this you, shit is yeah. crazy. So, so, so I'm gonna tell you this though. So Aaron Carter accused his brother of sexually. You know, assaulting, a raping, raping a bunch of people, including a 91 year old. Yes. But I want to say this: you know, I used to manage a girl group, Dream. He's and real so brother. After, yeah, but after I was managing Dream, the girl Melissa mm-hmm. from Dream has said that she was raped by Nick Carter. Mm. She was you know forced to perform oral sex, yeah. I believe it was. So my thing is like, how does this dude out here in these streets, if all this is true? And we clearly understand it's privilege, but hello, what what mm. the Waka Flock is going yeah. on? Oh, it's about to go down now, though, because a lot of questions are starting to pop up, and uh, you know when questions arise, people pry. The yes. thing is, Aaron Carter has been so off the wall that it's going to be easy for people to be like, "Oh no, he's, he's just crazy. tripping." Yeah. yeah. So I don't he know. I don't know. Yeah, we don't know he who the crazy, crazy one is, but he look crazy. Shit. Nick, but I, I can believe they they shit, both, both have, have issues, like major issues. Child stars. Sometimes child stars don't work. They don't. They don't. Click. Mentally, put you in a different space. Yeah. Yeah. Aaron Carter actually said in his uh, social skills all rhetoric on on I mean, well, all the things he was saying on social media that it runs in their family. Like his sister's bipolar. They all got some shit going on. Mm-hmm. So and the celebrity, I'm sure, didn't help a damn bit having all that fame all that money all that access to, to people and so women early. that'll just be yes men like yeah but I want ooh. people to get they I want to get, get I want them to get what he got coming to him if you, if you are a rapist and you raped a 90 I mean everybody even the people like Corey Weiss like he was saying on the thing about how the, the prosecutor or something before he died he got a chance to overturn it so mm-hmm. he went to the grave having done the right thing you know what I'm saying right. or with district attorney whatever it was but my thing is like I want people to pay for what they did you got motherfuckers serving time that didn't do shit you got people dying that didn't do shit you got people getting assaulted like to this, these day. Motherfuckers, to this day to this day right now it's happening and, like, and these motherfuckers not getting held responsible. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I, I kind of want to take it back to the you know old school. Go get the motherfucker out of the house. <laughs> Bring him to the court steps. Okay, great. Uh, Rapper 6 9 is telling everybody, y'all. I don't know mm-hmm. how he expects to make it another day. Uh, but he's telling everybody. He's going to have to get them tattoos removed from his face. He's going to have to shave his head. You look at the laser. They do that. But, yeah, but I'm saying, this nigga face going to look like Frankenstein. Oh. I'm just saying. It'll but, take a what? second to heal, but it'll. But why is he? T- why I don't understand. Okay, let's let's just back up. 
So you've had people out here talking about they understand why and this, that, and the third, and he was fucking, the, the manager was fucking this girl and this, that, and the third, you know what I'm saying? But if we go back to the conversation last week, all y'all want to be gangsters till the come time to do the time, you know what I'm talking about? And I just feel like you're bringing up Cardi B, Jim Jones, you're bringing up people that ain't got nothing to do with your situation. So what is the, what, what is the point? Is this the law trying to now all of a sudden attack everybody we got somebody that was in the middle of it he's popular get him is that what's going on I, I, think, I think it's very well could be I think 6 9 is just a regular kid from New York yep that was not a gangster was not none of that he was just you know gimmick a gimmick he was never he meant to yeah. live by the code Clearly. he's not from the he streets he didn't live that lifestyle he wasn't from the street I'm pretty sure maybe he was lived in the uh, in the neighborhood but that wasn't his real calling his real, he was probably you know supposed so, to so Question: right. Are you considered a snitch if you don't affiliate yourself to gang culture or gang life or street life? No, no. If you you're not a snitch, Absolutely. what happens if you insert yourself into it like Takashi did? Yeah. Is he now he's now a Absolutely. real snitch and has if to seriously deal the crime, with those consequences? You have to be willing to yeah. your time. Y'all better y'all better stop it. doing this stuff for clout because and you you think you're doing it to be cool, but you're really gonna have to live with these consequences. And he put money on Chief Keith, like he that was a part that he really yeah. did uh, pay for someone to shoot at him, right? So, yeah, you are part. You are participating, my guy. One of the memes I love though is the motherfucker said, "You still got to do five to ten, You know that? And then he was like, "Well, did you know Taco Bell's vegetarian?" Yeah. <laughs> Yo, them yeah. memes. Right. They and was talking like, Angela about this, yeah. All right? Talking about uh, Sally Mae is a part of the like. <laughs> Stop confused. calling me for these student well, I loans. He really did have some info on Sally Mae, boy. Right, Sidebar, uh, Sally Mae to go down. Power Manny so far. Mays. Yeah, I was just about to say that power to me got very good. I, again did, last I didn't night. even finish I think last it, it night's did turn episode. Around. Like uh, the week, the episode oh God, before, I'm the week scared. before, I'm like, it was wait, slow coming up, but now it's getting a little interesting. I, I like the first. I like the first two were good, and I started getting slower. The second two, and then to yesterday, I was like, yo, they killed Proctor. Four was a little bit slow. Oh Jesus, I like they killed Proctor. Oh, my Lord, I cannot I believe, I, and I'm just so bad. She didn't. I uncovered my ears too soon. I just felt. So so bad for the baby. Yo, you see that little girl dead? face when she when he called her and was like she was like you coming too right? Yeah. And he was like nah. I gotta finish the last season. But let me tell you Doctor's something. The dead? fact that Tariq is I'm oh, just what, what did you girl. expect me? I'm so glad he's owning it though. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But like, I ain't gonna front to you. Like, I don't like. I still can't stand Tariq ass. I mean, can't nobody stand Tyreek. Really. Ghost, I'm starting to like him either. But but, but I, 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 that's how I feel. I'm like Ghost. Well, first of all, I believe the character so much. I'm so right, right. I'm yeah, so we invested. Vested. We invested. You know what I'm saying? But then you look at like Tariq. He act like his daddy. His daddy ain't got no loyalty to nobody. Right. And then Tariq is showing he ain't got no loyalty to nobody. Right. Tariq is fucking playing everybody. But then the little girl he messing with. The played his ass. Played his ass. Got him up out the Expelled. way so she can get all of it. Yep. So I'm just confused. Boy. Took a life, saved a life. He took Proctor's life, saved his little girl's oh life. Jesus Christ. Because he, he, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, he's a power heaven right here. Yeah, I do know what you're saying. That, shit is that boy said power heaven. I'm wow. so sad the little girl has no mommy or daddy now. But you know, man, in this fucking the F, the, 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 what's the dude's name? The FBI dude. Fucking oh, uh, um, sh- uh, the white dude. Shake some shot, whatever. Name? I cannot stand him. S H whatever. Yeah. Anyway, ladies it's and gentlemen, fault. piece of shit. That the is Patriots name. cannot stand Antonio Brown. They have waved and released him. You I said mean, they can't stand him. I got me something. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Hey, he started snitching too. Shit. He did. Shannon Sharp and everybody had to come for him. Huh? Love. But but it's true he what he's saying. Folks. It is true. What it's he's true saying. what he's saying. But this is what I Ben Roethlisberger, the Ben Roethlisberger what? shit did not get the headlines, and that shit was a big deal. Yeah, in the bathroom or swept, some club. Uh, from what I heard, though, because you know I got partners that play in the league. Um, ben Roethlisberger went to uh, the commissioner yep. and told him everything, mm-hmm. and a lot of the players don't do that. They find out after. Wow. And when they find out after. They can't get ahead of it. They can't get ahead of it. Mm-hmm. Wow. Well, That's I don't. I I, you know, I, I think it, it's it's a it mental ball thing. What'd you say? You heard it first on Ball. Over. That's right. I think that uh, I think it's some mental shit with Antonio, because in hindsight, like he started bugging out at Pittsburgh. He went from Pittsburgh to Oakland, amplified it even more, got away with it, so to speak. Went to go play for a championship, basically. Because the pa- Patriots are going back to the Super Bowl, and you blow it. Like how? You gotta be feeling the way. You know what I'm saying? 
Mm-hmm. I, I ain't gonna lie. I, he from the crib. He from where I'm from. Uh, he from Florida. Yeah, so always a Florida man. Yeah. And I, I always a Florida man. Blah, I can blah, identify blah, blah. sometimes. You know, he playing with house money because you know we ain't supposed to make it like that far. Like, so I know he kind of just be on that Kodak shit. Like, all right, cool. <laughs> I ain't supposed to be man having all these millions of dollars. Fuck it. But he tripping. Now he tripping. He trip, trip, trip. I just don't understand how many times on the table. this story has to be told and seen for people to just. Get their, get, shit get, get their shit together. I agree with you because it just, just doesn't understand. make any sense. Everybody thinks they're different. Everybody, oh, I'm gonna be different. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep making this money. Ain't nobody gonna take this shit from me. They took that shit, boy. Then it's gone. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I thought, it, I thought he was gonna be okay when he went to New England because, um, you know, he was quiet. But then the text message shit happened. He was like, oh, and I knew. I said, I said, as soon as he went to the page, I said, it's too good to be true. Right. Tom Brady just kept throwing him the ball that game he played in Miami. Right. Where you from? He showed out. Got Damn, a touchdown. Man. And I'm over here like Patriots gonna win the chip. They, yeah, I made they a two hundred dollar bet that the Patriots go pay, back at made, least. is gonna win this whole Super Bowl. Then his ass get cut, and I still got the bet on. God damn! No, but you got Brady still. <laughs> I think they're gonna, gonna be fine. But anyway. I just knew for sure they were gonna. As long as you got Brady, thing. you got a chance. Damn man! And he's a Trump supporter, ladies Ooh. and gentlemen. One <laughs> time, he didn't say. It. Jesus <laughs> Christ! <laughs> one ahead. time for DMX, y'all. He is uh, <laughs> signed back with Def Jam. We had all that success with selling all those albums. And uh, he actually has a GQ spread. I'm happy for DMX. Y'all. I am too. You know what I'm saying? Redemption. I am too. I just hope, yeah, as long as he can. That was one of my favorite rappers growing up, man. I just hope that, you know, it's on until it's on until I got to know now. Hey. Is you with me or what? Nigga trying to give me a nut. Because his honey's doing to give me the butt. Uh, Politicker with this chick on one right. uh-huh. <laughs> hey, hey. 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 H
it's still gonna stream and guess what we're all gonna try to listen to it what the fuck is he gonna talk about now yeah no I, that's what I wanted to comment on literally had the same conversation Saturday he's, yeah, he's you, gonna be fine yeah but that's sad and, and it's sad it's, it's, and, and, yeah. and I'm gonna tell you what else is sad because what you said there was no social media so now you could be whoever you want to be and now this character he's created there it will be energy for that character no matter what people say about snitching or what no matter what people say about anything that character will live on in some capacity and you're right he will benefit from it when he comes home but that's the sick part of society because it's like all the things that are right and wrong get blurred you know what I'm saying at the drop of a post mm -hmm. at the push of a button mm -hmm. it's like reality just becomes you know what I'm saying it's almost like the fake like you know what I'm saying becomes reality and it's like well what's real and what's fake how are you separating the two like and it's, there's no order I think it's just a lot of fuck shit going on and he's a perfect example of that yeah 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 you know what I'm saying and, and, and I want to be clear too I never heard and I talked about this on those guys podcast I never heard of so much gang shit until recently until right? the last 10 years I never when, when, when Dipset came to Rockefeller when I was at Rockefeller and they were talking about bloods it was foreign to me I'm like bloods from fucking New York like mm -hmm. where is this at but it started coming you know what I mean but then you go back to what you know where it started in LA you know what I mean like I just don't understand. It's such a fad to be this, a fad to be that, and it's nobody's wild. like, I don't know. It's just it's disappointing because like where where are we going culturally? But now now gangs are really part of now gang culture was a part of culture, but it was, you know, uh, uh, like now you can see how to do the blood signs. You see, you can see how to do the crip signs. Like it's in videos, like, and you see like people doing the handshakes on social media. It's kind of like if you just keep watching it, you can just yeah, learn like how to basketball do it. players be throwing up the sign. Like motherfucker, you you realize you banging, you banging right <laughs> now. Like, this is you're banging. This is not no. I made a three pointer. <laughs> Nigga, you banging like you. You know what you. You know where you saw that. So I just. I think yeah. people get confused on what the reality is versus. Anyway, now it's time for baller mail. Message. Speaking of uh, social media, uh, message. This was a live baller mail because a friend walked up to me and said, "Hey man, Ferrari. Um, I noticed that you don't follow my girl on the gram. Mm. Oh. And I said, No, I'm not gonna follow your girl on the gram because that's your girl." I don't have a relationship with her. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to stay away from that because right. if I follow your girl on the ground, what am I going to do? I'm not going to like none of her pictures. Right. I'm going to only like the pic that maybe she posts with y'all. Yes. He said, hey, Ferrari, well, you know, I follow your girl. Is that going to be an issue? I said, it's not an issue. I'm not a jealous dude, but just watch what the motherfucking pictures you like, nigga. <laughs> yeah. If I just so happen to scroll my, and my baby put a butt out on a particular pic and I see you liking the pic, it's a motherfucking problem You're for You're looking me. at her ass. I mean, you like the motherfucking pic of my baby with her ass poking. And she just posted that because she wanted to feel beautiful. However she wanted to do it, it's cool. So the question is, should you or should you not follow your friend's girlfriend? Kenny Burns, I follow your wife, but that's your wife. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And she don't post no butt pics. And if she did, I would never like the picture. I'd just keep <laughs> on goddamn scrolling. Right. I know, I should you or should you not follow your friend's significant other I think it depends on the relationship I think if if it's a girl he's been with for a couple of months no you know but I think if y'all do stuff like double dates and y'all be having friend nights right. and all, like you guys actually have a rapport then I don't see anything wrong with that I think people put a lot of weight too much weight on social media whether it be negative positive or whatever but I think that's just too much to be worried about yeah I, I say this you know you give room for energy when you you know when you liking and you having little back office DMs and little side conversations when you know that's your partner's you know what I'm saying now mind you I don't think like you said like when you get married I'm gonna follow your wife you know what I'm saying cause we partners and I know she has an affinity for my wife we all cool I'm not gonna follow your partner's wife you know what I'm saying cause I don't know them mm -hmm. and then one day you get I get a DM or something hey that's cute what does that What does that mean Like how, what, what conversations Are we starting You know what I'm saying But it, ha it happens to me All the time Like you You be like Cool with motherfuckers And then it just goes Oh heart emojis With the kissy faces And then You know it's all nah, these it things It happens I think it's different no, Between I know it happens, men and women though Because I think boundaries. Sometimes like Cause my girl's friends Follow me But I think they're Following me To, to watch. watch you They're watching That's In case different. it slips 
in case there's an opportunity. I'm gonna tell you, you these think it's that too? Hell yeah! You, yeah. Maybe you cannot, waiting. you can't slip on social media. Like, like first of all, you, oh, you can slip on social media. No, you, 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 you absolutely can. First of all, you don't do anything like that. Secondly, yeah, you talking you're about way, me. Yeah. Secondly, you're way too smart to fuck up on social media. But like, general, like you're not a regular shit. dude. Yeah, like, you're not, you're not, me, you're not regular. Fuck up on social media all the time. All the for time. sure, for sure. But you're not regular, so that's that's just not that's not even an option in that situation. So I think they're following you because you're Ferrari Simmons and you're. My homegirls, man. <laughs> but if if Ferrari Simmons would ever do something sideways, it's a wrap. the DM is going to get sent out. It's a wrap, absolutely, okay. as it should. Yeah, I, I think you can't leave room for the possibility. You know what I mean? Like, you got to cut it off. Even, like, this goes to, like, married men and women. It's like, you can't have a conversation past a certain point if you don't want to give mixed signals or if you don't want to give, you know what I'm saying, a vibe. Like, that's why, like, fl- I don't even flirt no more. Like I, I, you know, I might see somebody like, oh, okay, like I got to move before it even starts. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because in the club, you flirting. Like when you hosting every fucking night, you saying slick shit, you doing. Whatever. But it's like you gotta stop it. And I think that the following of someone's significant other, you know what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? You know what you're leaving open for possibility. And you gotta be, you have to be conscious of that. I don't follow my friends' girlfriends. You marry her, I I would have to have a relationship with her, like. On some type of level That's a respectful level For me to follow If it's not that type it. of level I'm cool Yeah It just depends on the relationship Yeah I've been unfollowing A lot lately I, I follow some cold thoughts oh. I, <laughs> I ain't even mean All to accident You know what I'm saying But when you When you in the Kenny club Kenny Burns All accident okay, That's my laughing question? emoji On the screen can I They be like follow me Exactly Can I ask you a question When you're in the club You're all hosts When you're mm-hmm. in the club It's kind of hard Not to be social I mean that's media. our job. It is. Yeah, that's it our is. Job. I'm just saying. So it's it's you know I look up on my joint. If I see too many ass feeds, I'm automatically deleting. Oh yeah. And then I if I see too much it. negative energy, I'm deleting because it's just. Oh yeah, the draining. negative energy is the I worst. The okay, yeah, I, I get rid of that ASAP. Know. So di- I'm not gonna say the person, but it's people on Instagram <laughs> that always got some shit, and it'd be like, well, how are you? And, but you know, it's crazy. The engagement be nuts because there's so many people with shit, and it'd be like, no, but you're. You can't believe, like you can't think, like yeah. it's, yo. Know, it almost makes you want to get off social media. I'm almost to the point, like I really want to get off social media. Do a little free candy campaign. Cause it's a, it's a me. lie. It's a lie. And I mean, it's great for our business and what we're trying to promote and amplify. But it'd be a, it's so much of. How much of Instagram do y'all think is a lie? Uh, seventy five percent. That's a high percent. Yeah, remember. You post what you want people to portray right. you as. That's why I like a lot of people fuck with my page because I post like my transgressions. Like if you really follow me, I post the shit that I went through. Like I posted it's been Motivation. a year of me DJing and how I fucked up when I first started DJing. I didn't know how to do this. I didn't know how to do that. Motherfuckers don't do none of that shit. Motherfuckers only post I'm on vacation here. Yeah, I'm, I'm fly. on vacation there. I'm on the plane here. I, I just this. got this bag. Yeah. Just got the new Yeezys. Just got da 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 da. You would think that that motherfucker rich when in reality it's not even like that. And then motherfuckers only po- post the shit with the filter. Then when you see they motherfucking ass in person, you be over here like they be like, "Hey, for I be like, who was you? Oh, I'm at such and such. Oh, wow, you don't even look like you look crazy." You you be using that goddamn, and then I learned it's a different Snapchat filter. Absolutely, and it is on Instagram. So motherfuckers use a Snapchat filter Bring it on and save upload it. it to Instagram. Upload it on yes, Instagram. sir. God damn, yep, yep. talk about contour. <laughs> Shit. Talk when about last contour. time y'all used Snapchat? Oh, no, no they use it no, on no, filters. No, I'm personally, though, now I use it. I Do use you? it sometimes. Yeah. I, I haven't mm-hmm. used it. In I don't use two it at years. all. Some people still be on it though. Really? Oh no, yeah. the kids I know my it. sons be on it because yeah. they don't want us to see everything. Yeah, fact. <laughs> they know we follow. They know them. mom and dad is on Instagram. You know my sixteen year old be killing her Snapchat. Put it on the screen. Put it on the screen. Number one, South the Cap, uh, high school volleyball team. Yes, okay. yes, ma'am. Better do yeah, your yes, thing, ma'am. girl. Prom, we we going in. No shirts. Park a lot. You already know it there. What? No yeah, he, he he he's wearing no shirt and I mean, me it's gonna and be everybody bad with a pistol gonna be bad, with bats uh, waiting for. I'm yeah, sick of y'all. Like, y'all need to yeah. stop. Caesar, you gonna be there recording? He said in the oh, parking lot with shirts off. Now it's time <laughs> for comment. <laughs> <creepy. laughs> Let <laughs> that girl Florida. live and enjoy her he prime. Went Florida boy, quick, didn't he? Lord, I love you. Like, like I said, you it's always a Florida man. Creep, creep, man from his photo.
time. Creep, 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 creep. So Megan Thee Stallion has been having an amazing hot girl summer. Hot girl, hey, hot girl year, really. Megan Thee Stallion. Okay, hot girl Meg. She uh, tweeted, after my mom passed, I promised myself I was going to keep going hard because not only is music my dream, but it was her dream for me too. I have days where I want to go hide and cry because she's not here. But I know that ain't what she would want me to do. I know she's proud of me. Now, Larry Johnson is a former football player, right? Yes, he's, former he's football no player. No longer a football player. Yeah. He actually has something to say, and he responded, A coincidence. Her mother, was who, what, who was also her manager, died in the month of March 2019, the same month of her breakout. Music industry filled with the easily corrupt fatherless children looking for Satan to be the daddy they never had. So if you follow, he's basically accusing her of sacrificing her mom so that she could have this amazing breakout career. You that's know, she signed that's, to Rock Nation. Is, yeah, that's great. That's bullshit. Well, well, the thing is, she, you know, she signed to Rock Nation, and it's not like Jay Z is, you know, new to being affiliated with Illuminati thoughts or ideas like people have constantly claimed over the past few years that he's either part of it as they do other very successful right. wealthy successful yeah it's, fucking, it's not just yeah. Jay-Z but so am I Larry Johnson had also publicly at one point though admitted that he was dealing with CTE right so we don't really know if like he meant this from his heart or if it was just you know his head just fucking with him mm. but Megan you know definitely came back at him and was like just because you found out about uh, about me around the time my mother passed does not make what you're saying accurate. I've been grinding for so long and would appreciate if you weirdos on the internet would stop trying to associate my mother having a brain tumor with the fucking devil. So her mother had already been canceling, I mean, uh, you know, battling this uh, brain tumor right. and it just so happened that she passed, you know, around that same time. They were subtweeting each other, which was weird. They the were definitely subtweeting. Like, Nobody added anybody, but if you follow you know the saying? tweets, you know that they're talking to each other. personal, you know what I'm saying? So Absolutely. What's the correlation? But hey. You, th you think they maybe dated, talked I before? Know, I don't know why anybody would talk about anybody like that and not have yeah. strong feelings I'm talking about, about that's like some deep yeah, subtweets. Like, I mean, I think CTE could do that or somebody being a hater could do that. There, there are wrong. multiple reasons, Ooh. you know what I'm saying? It doesn't have to be that they <laughs> talked say? or had sex. Oh, it doesn't have to be wrong. that. Ooh. It don't got to be that. <laughs> I mean, it, it could be. We're not, we not going to cancel <laughs> anything out, Kenny Burns, I'm but... That. I'm just playing. I'm just well, you know, but I'm just saying it's also a possibility that maybe it's well, he not. Maybe he's he just wrong. not all um, the way together. You know what I'm saying? Like, Larry, whatever his name was, is wrong. Oh, Larry, So has Moneybag Yo jumped in? I don't think... I don't think they're together anymore. Are they together? But when I heard they still good. Oh, okay. Mm. What'd you hear? I heard that things change all the time. Yeah, this is true. I, I heard that things change all the time. That was last week when I, you know, shit. Today. Well, one time for Megan Thee Stallion, she's going to school, she's getting her degree. I'm he's a, he's definitely a hater because he was like, I know y'all were thinking that I was hating on Meg the Pony. Bitch, you were Meg definitely hating. That's what I'm saying. Like, like, like you were hating. Some, 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 he used to date. They, they used to date each other or something. Something. Ain't nobody subtweeting like that. That's too like personal. That. That's way too personal. It, it, it can't be the fact that get, his brain is messed up. It's got to well, be that they fucked get, around. Guys don't get personal like that unless it's some sexual tension feelings Child. previously. We don't do shit like that. Okay. I agree, Rory. All right. The we're not petty. Real. We don't do shit like that. Okay. We do the stuff like not, that. We're not petty. We okay. do stuff like that when we've had... You know, or when you tried to get it and didn't get it. Okay, perfect. That's a perfect example. Yeah, could be that. Too. Okay, yeah. See, yeah, again, yeah, it doesn't always yeah. have that to be that, that they've had that. sex. Yeah, yeah, yeah there yeah. it is. Okay, he attempted and she stiff armed. Yeah. Husband, that hoe. <laughs> okay, now it's time for Confucius said. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, stop lying to yourself. <laughs> you know, I get sick and tired of people acting like they did not know what they was getting themselves into. Stop lying to yourself. The best way to deal with some bullshit, some tragedy, you know what I'm talking about, a loss, is to identify with it and be truthful with it. We go out here in these streets all the time, we say, oh, this person did this, no, this person did that. You are a free being. What you get into is what you allow yourself to get into, regardless of the circumstance. So please, Baller Nation, 
Stop fucking lying. Mm. Go out there and be truthful and live your best life. The dream is real. Baller alert! The dream is real.